What day is it? Dino day, for real this time. <laughs> what does it smell like? It smells like horses here though today, which is interesting. It won't for long though, once my car starts up. Just wait for it. Which is a thing that it does now, which is cool. We're back in California, mostly for Adam. Formula Drift, Irwindale, round, killing it, getting wild. And now we're here on his day off for what is hopefully my first dyno session with a three rotor. We had a lot of problems that we had to address the last time we were here. I talked about it in my last video. Nick has had the car while I've been all over the place and tackled the issues and hopefully today it all comes together. One of the biggest changes though is that we ditched the quick time bell housing, no more. We went back to stock and what, that was pretty simple, right? Everything just fit. Just bolted like right up did. with yeah. the adapter kit from uh, G-Force and all that and yep. seems to work it just how it's supposed to. The wiring stuff, what did it end up being? It ended up being just like one wire you had to delete. One wire that just needed to be depinned for the O2 sensor controller and that was it. We have cooling for the turbo now. All right. Yeah, and I have the sensor here, yeah. so then I have two 90s coming off the bottom here that I welded and threaded in, then just the two coolant lines go up to the turbo and hey. simple like that. Uh, what else was there? Oh, a fitting was leaking. Yeah, I replaced one of the one external of the oil tap fittings. Oil was fittings. I replaced, I added a bunch of like O-ring gaskets for all these bolts that are blocking off water ports and oil ports. Just kind of going through everything again, trying to make sure everything's gonna work. Oh, oh, hold up. This car moved under its own power by itself for the very first time. Nick was the very first person to drive the car and I stopped him and I was like, what is it like? Tell me everything. What was it like driving it? We're gonna change oil and get ready for dyno. some fresh VR1 in it and new filter and be ready to go. This will get kicked out of any shop. I think I got a Worth shopping it. point at my shop for this. Really? Yeah. Really? Just running it, literally just idling it. And then I think the next day, one of my neighbors, I guess somebody came over to his shop and blamed him. But I think it was actually Dang. Me. Haters. Yeah. Squeeze. Haters are just trying to keep the rotary people down. Can't let them. Think about it. Wow, and that was so effortless too. You just turned it on. Yeah. 
didn't have to do much. Wow. So, got AirPods in. I'm also gonna put over ear headphones on, and I'm hoping that makes it somewhat bearable during this tuning session. But you know what? I'm ready. My ears can bleed for this. I'm ready. Today's today. I feel it. He's strapping in. <laughs> Abel is strapping in. They still calibrating all the sensors. Oh yeah, barely. Yes? Yeah, barely. Okay. Very light. First thing we're gonna do is let it idle for a little bit, get up to ten, make sure everything's good to go.
gas, basically just letting the car idle. And right when Abel got in there, totally out. I think there might have been at least like eight gallons in there too, which is wild. So that's gonna take some getting used to. I think this car is gonna go through fuel like crazy. So we had to go to the gas station, get more E85, but luckily we're in SoCal. So that's just right down the road. We got E85 everywhere. So now we got gas. We're gonna add some premix in there and get right back on it. We ended up getting like 15 more gallons of E85. I think we're gonna need so much more. Literally just idling, not even like doing a few good revs. We're out of gas real fast. So, I mean, it is E85, it is rotary. So it's like 30% more consumption with that as well. Definitely something I'm gonna have to get used to. It's the rotary life, but you know what? I'm ready. World's trying to throw stuff at us. Curveballs, we're ready. We're ready, world. We got gas, adding the premix now. I think Abel usually likes to do 10 ounces of premix for every five gallons. So that's gonna be our special recipe going forward.
Yo, cops are coming. Legit. We're trying to hold them off for you. Can you stop? <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm over here freaking out already. That was sick. Congrats. Thanks. First donuts. Sick. There you go. <laughs> that shit was so cool. This thing is gonna be wild. Yeah, that, that's wild. It's spicy. This is a spice so movie. Huh? Yeah. Thank you, Nick. We're here. We did it. Okay, well, thank you. You're, You're the man. You're the best. Progress. Ripping out there. Donuts. Fire. Almost to the track. Yeah.